Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to add and uh, use material uh, text fields. So uh, this new material design uh, text field is uh, kind of an improvement for an old uh, edit text. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to use it and uh, customize some of its uh, multiple properties. So uh, to add material uh, text field, uh, first we're going to search here for uh, text uh, input layout and just uh, drag and drop that right here on our screen. And let's connect uh, left, right and uh, top constraint. Let's add the margins here uh, for the 32 on each and every constraint right here. And uh, now you will see that this uh, text input uh, layout contains uh, one uh, text input uh, edit text and uh, now I'm going to show you how to customize this uh, text input uh, edit text and uh, make it look uh, beautiful. So first let's open up our XML code and here before we continue I just want to add the uh, IDs for our text input layout. So let's add here text input uh, layout and uh, down below I'm going to add the ID which will say uh, text input uh, edit uh, text. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I'm going to remove the hint from our uh, text input uh, edit text and uh, I'm going to add a hint on our uh, text input layout. So uh, right here and I'm going to add a hint uh, which will say a name and we can choose uh, different styles for our uh, text input uh, edit text and here I'm going to add a style attribute and I'm going to search for uh, uh, text uh, input uh, layout so here we have a outline box we have a field box and here i'm going to choose a outline box so this one so text input layout uh, outline box okay so this is how this uh, outline box uh, will look like for now so let's run our app so we can see uh, how will that uh, look like in our android emulator so our uh, text input layout only contains this uh, one hint and when I click on our field uh, you will see that this hint will basically go uh, on the top of our uh, uh, text input uh, edit text and here we can write uh, anything we want. Uh, also here uh, we can include uh, one icon so we can use a start icon drawable uh, attribute to link some uh, icons so for example uh, let's run our app to see uh, how will that uh, look like for now. And now uh, our uh, text or our edit text will basically get this uh, icon on the left side. And now it looks uh, even better. Uh, next, uh, what we can do, uh, we can also add uh, some uh, helper text on our uh, text input layout. So here let me just add uh, helper text. And here I can say, for example, required. And here I can also add the uh, helper text uh, text color. And here I can add the red color. So now let's run the app. And now you will see that here uh, we have one uh, helper text which says required and uh, it basically means for example that uh, we need to uh, fill out uh, this uh, field. Uh, next uh, I want to show you how you can add the uh, character count to your uh, text uh, input uh, layout. So here we just need to add the uh, uh, counter enable to true and we need to set the uh, uh, counter max uh, length for example to 20 so now let's run the app and now let's see uh, how will that look like okay so now when we start typing here uh, you will see that uh, this uh, counter will increase and the maximum characters uh, which we can uh, type here is uh, 20 but of course we can type uh, even further than uh, 20 and when we cross that uh, number of 20 then uh, this uh, text will get this uh, red color which will basically mean that there is uh, some error and of course we can limit our uh, text view or our uh, edit text to uh, 20 characters only uh, so on our text input uh, edit text we can add here a uh, max uh, length and here we can set for example uh, 20. So now let's run our app to see uh, how will that uh, work. Okay and now let's uh, try and type here uh, something. And as you can see we will not be able to type uh, further than uh, 20 characters. Uh, so that's how you can limit this uh, number. And of course you can add here a limit of uh, 21. So that uh, you can actually see that, uh, that uh, red color uh, on the stroke of our field. So let me show you that. And here I'm going to type just uh, basically anything. And here as you can see when we cross that uh, 20 we're going to see this uh, error color around our uh, edit text. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to add the uh, end icon. And here we're going to add the one attribute named the uh, end icon mode. And here we have a couple of modes. So we have a drop down menu, then we have a none, then we have a clear text, password toggle and a custom. So for now uh, let's choose this uh, text uh, or clear text and let's run our app. And uh, now as soon as we type uh, character inside our uh, edit text 
uh, we will be able to see this uh, end icon at the end of our field and when we press this uh, uh, X icon it will basically remove all the text from our uh, edit text. So as you can see, that's how it works. So next here, we also have a password toggle. And for example, on our text input layout, I'm going to add the input type of uh, text password. And here I'm going to rename that, for example, to password. And I can just rename some different icons. So for example, lock icon. So now let's run the app so we can check that out. And now, as you can see, uh, when we press uh, and type here anything, uh, we will not be able to see those uh, characters because we have chose the text password input type for our text input edit text. And also at the end of our field, we have this I button toggle. And when I press that, we should be able to see the content of our text input edit text. And when I press again, uh, we should be able to hide those uh, characters as well. Uh, now I'm going to also show you how to add a custom uh, and icon mode. So for example, if we choose here a custom, uh, then we can specify our own icon at the end of our field. And let's type here uh, and icon drawable. And here I'm going to choose, for example, a checkmark icon. And uh, in order to check uh, on click listener for this uh, end icon, we will need to open up our first fragment. And uh, here we will need to call a binding to get our text input uh, layout. So not a text input edit text, but a text input layout. And here we need to call a set uh, end uh, icon on click listener and here for example I'm going to just uh, display a simple toast message which will say for example uh, clicked and here I'm going to just set uh, toast.length short so now uh, when we press this uh, icon uh, we should be able to see this uh, toast message so now we have implemented our own uh, custom icon and here of course we can customize uh, this icon's behavior by ourselves and in this case when I press this icon uh, we should be able to see this toast message which says uh, clicked and of course you can customize the behavior of this uh, end icon uh, by yourself this is just an example uh, next uh, what i want to show you is uh, how to actually add a prefix or a suffix uh, with your uh, text input layout so for example here i'm going to choose a different name or different hint for example number i'm going to change here icon to a uh, phone and here I'm going to add a prefix uh, attribute, so prefix text. And here I'm going to write, for example, plus one, which is a country code for uh, America. And here we can also add a prefix uh, text color. Here I can choose, for example, let's say maybe uh, purple. And now let's run our app to see uh, how will this uh, prefix uh, look like with our uh, text input uh, layout. So now uh, when I press on this uh, text input layout, uh, you will see that now we have a prefix of uh, plus one. So this prefix uh, can be used, uh, for example, with uh, numbers, where we can detect the country where a uh, user is coming from, and we can enter its uh, country calling code right here as a suffix. And here we can just add some number as well. And of course, I can change here uh, this uh, input type to a uh, number. So now let's run our app again, so it will look uh, even better. Okay, so now we can type just the numbers and this is how uh, it can look like. Of course, there is one more attribute to add a suffix and that's basically a text at the end of our uh, uh, text input layout. We can just add here a suffix text attribute, but I'm not going to add that uh, at this moment. And uh, finally, I want to show you how to uh, enable uh, error mode. So here on our text input layout, uh, I'm going to add uh, error enable to true. And also I'm going to add uh, error icon. So error icon drawable. And here I'm going to just uh, link one uh, error icon. So now, as you can see, we don't see any error icon here. And that's because we haven't implemented that uh, error yet. So now I'm going to open up a uh, first fragment. So uh, just below our uh, binding text input layout, I'm going to add the binding uh, text input uh, edit text this time. And here I'm going to add uh, do on uh, text change the listener. And uh, here, for example, I'm going to write, so if uh, uh, text length is greater than uh, for example 10 then i can just call a binding text input uh, layout dot uh, error and here for the error message i'm going to type for example uh, no more okay and uh, i'm going to also add the uh, else if block and here i'm going to write if a uh, text uh, length is uh, less than 10 and uh, if the length is uh, less than 10 i can just disable this uh, error message by just calling our text input layout error and we can set its value to null and that way we can disable this error. So first let's run the app so you can check that out. So now uh, we should be able to see this uh, error uh, when we type uh, more than 10 uh, characters inside our uh, text uh, input uh, edit text. 
So now I'm going to type here uh, some numbers, so 11. And now, as you can see, when the value is greater than 10, which is 11, then we should be able to see this uh, error icon at the end of our uh, text input uh, edit text. And as you can see, we can see the error message, which we have already defined, which says uh, no more. And now if I remove at least one character or two, as you can see that uh, error now uh, will disappear. So that's how you're able to use this uh, error mode uh, with your uh, text input uh, layout. And now you've seen uh, multiple ways of uh, customizing your uh, text input uh, edit text. And uh, also there is another style which you can use with your uh, text input layout so in this case i have used the outline box but you can use a field box uh, as well and the field box uh, looks uh, something like that but my personal preference is the first one which is the outline the box so there is uh, one more catch uh, which i haven't uh, talked about so if you don't see this uh, character count or this uh, helper text uh, then you should change your uh, layout height on both uh, text input layout and the uh, text uh, input edit text to wrap content so if your uh, layout height is not wrap content then uh, probably you will not be able to see those uh, two uh, views uh, at the bottom of this uh, text input layout like this uh, helper text and this uh, count character so uh, that will be all for this video i hope you enjoyed please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you next one